Well, can I just say good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for extending an invitation for me to, to join you at church this morning and maybe be part of the service. I'm really, really pleased to be here. Yeah. Thank you. And you're a um, member of parliament for Battersea. That's right, Battersea. And how long have Bannon you Monsworth? been in that role? Uh, four and a half years. Not very long, but I had to fight two elections already. So, yeah, not long. But Exhausting process. It yeah. certainly has been, but it feels like 10 years because it's been such a an incredibly busy time over the last four years. I've, there's been a lot going on, as we all know. <laughs> yes, in lots of ways, and even this week has been a particularly tough one for Parliament. And yes, I mean, this week has been incredibly difficult. Um, as Anna was saying in prayer, we sadly lost um, Sir David Amos, um, who was a, a very nice guy, actually, always very caring and friendly uh, towards myself um, as a very new, new MP. But to see a colleague killed in the way that he was, just carrying out his duties as an MP, we all have our regular surgeries and, you know, we all take all the necessary steps and precautions to ensure that our surgeries are safe, i.e. by having appointments only and making sure those coming to see you are actually genuine people yeah. and it just goes to show that that didn't help and it's a real tragic loss to everybody and in Parliament on Monday, the, many tributes were, were then led by the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition, and I just heard so many incredibly moving stories about him. And David was also a man of God, so he was a devout Catholic, as many of you may know, and so, again, it's just a real loss uh, to us all. Yeah, thank you, and we'll continue to pray for him, his family, and um, for all of you in Parliament and just yes. uh, wanted to also take the opportunity to thank you for, for the service that you are giving for our community, the way that you are seeking to represent um, people and to um, seek people's good interests. So thank you for that work. Well, thank you. And yeah. I must say it, it, it is an honour and a privilege to do what I do and I never take any day for granted and so I'm very grateful to do the job. Yeah, thank you. And it was also wonderful to join you for the um, National Parliamentary Prayer Breakfast yes. last year that you led. Yes. Uh, where, where are you normally based for church worship? Where are you? So, um, so I, I, I attend church just not too far from here on Clapham Common. I attend HTC, Holy Trinity Clapham. That's been my church for very, very, uh, uh, well, for a number of years now. So that's where I, I worship most Sundays. So I'm not there today, so I'm here. But, yeah. but, it, but it's all good. As long as I'm in, in, the, in the house of God on Sundays, that's what's really important. Yeah. yeah. And we're the big family of God connected across Absolutely. multiple churches. Exactly. And we'd love to pray for you, but I just wondered if you could please share um, one simple encouragement for you at the moment and one challenge that you're facing at the moment. Yes, of course. I think, you know, we can all attest that the last 18 months have been quite challenging with, with the pandemic and many lost loved ones, you know, our lives really had to take a, a massive change and turn. And one of the things that I feel quite encouraged by is the fact that it's all going to be okay. We've, we've come through. We have to do things differently, we all know that, but the fact that we can still now um, meet together and there is some sort of normality coming back to our lives, I feel very encouraged by that. But, but also to know that whatever we're facing today, God is in control and it's all going to be okay. And I say this because I was at a, sh I was at an, a show last night and it was the faith and arts being brought together through dance. and. Some of the, 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 the dance and the songs that they were performing to really gave us that hope and encouragement. And I just want to kind of pass that on uh, to you guys as well this morning. Um, in terms of, you know, a challenge, you talked about challenge. I mean, where do you want me to start? Because there are multiple. <laughs> Maybe just one at this point. <laughs> just one at this point. Um, do you know, I am quite nervous and very conscious now um, of my safety. And so that is a challenge that I know I'm going to need to overcome to be able to, because I'm a very much, I like to be visible. I'm always out and about in the constituency, but you know, I'm just wanting to um, make sure I do it with diligence, care and wisdom and discernment. Um, and also not to be fearful of going out and about, frankly. You know, I, I usually would have walked here and I didn't this morning and I'd want to be able to just be, be a bit more um, faithful in that yes. area, I think. Well, yeah. thank you. Yeah. yeah. So we'll pray for you now, if that's okay. Oh, uh, and our way of ascension is that we reach out our hands. So wherever you are, if you just reach out your hands towards Marsha and let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for 
Marsha, we thank you for who you have created her to be and all that she is becoming through your inspiration. And we thank you for what she is doing in, in serving the local community and we pray with her. Thank you for the encouragement she's shared there that you are Lord in our midst, amidst the uncertainty and um, all that is a struggle, that you are Lord and that you are bringing hope in surprising ways, even through dance. And we just pray with her, along with all the other members of parliament who are in shock this week, asking for your strengthening. Please allow them to know that you are Lord. Please, we ask for Marsha that you would help her to establish the right habits that will enable her to continue to connect with people in ways that are real and helpful. And we pray all this trusting in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And just one final thing, that uh, something that we have been praying about as a community and acting on is the whole climate emergency. And so um, in September, we joined in the National Great Big Green Week, which included uh, lots of us signing a letter. So I just wanted to be able to present the letter to of you course. now. Fantastic. Uh, signed it and also put our faces to it oh, wow. so we've got a big letter here uh, and the key thing is we are each trying to do individual things to try and um, make our lives more sustainable we as a community are trying to do what we can we have the parish refill at the back and we've yes. recently put solar panels thanks we're um, supported by the council with a grant for that uh, and lots of other ways but there are things we can't do and so we want you to be our champion in Absolutely. parliament particularly as we build up to the cop 26 mm -hmm. um, to be our voice encouraging uh, the uk to really lead yes. the way on all of this yes. so thank you very much no, and we'll... thank you very much and i will certainly take take this on board and i, and I have to to commend um yourself uh, and all the other other churches that have really also been showing their own leadership in the area of the climate emergency as as we know you know britain has an opportunity at cop next weekend and onwards to really show some leadership and some real commitment because we're going to need commitment from all other countries and leaders as well we all have a role to play locally here and also as a country and a nation yeah. but it's it's a global issue and you know whether it's about reducing our emissions or about, you know, nature or really about making sure everybody is committed to supporting some of those more underdeveloped countries that will need our help in yes. also, also tackling the climate crisis that, that is ahead of us. So I, you, you have yeah. my full commitment. It, it is a priority for me and I will continue to, to obviously commit to these pledges and yeah. I certainly do commit to them, obviously, and I agree with them and I support them, but also continuing to work locally as well on these yeah. issues. Thank you very much. Let's um, give Marsha a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you very Thank you. much.